The Dakar is 30 years old. 30 years of strong emotions, immense joy and terrible tragedy. 30 years of exceptional men and women. 30 years of an extraordinary human adventure with its personal incidents and major stories. C'est à Paris que la course a commencé, à Paris où la préoccupation était l'achat des derniers cadeaux. Noël avait déjà eu lieu, le jour de l'an allait venir. C'était la fête, les illuminations, même si dans d'autres The Dakar was born on December 26, 1978, in Paris. And after the little more than three kilometer prologue at Montlhéry, the 182 vehicles headed towards Marseille and the Quai de la Joliette, the malodorous ship Direction Alger, and the first tracks and the first whiffs of true adventure. <laughs> the Dakar didn't as yet represent anything. Its pioneers had just one rather confused idea of crossing Africa over 10,000 kilometers, even though some had already participated in Jean-Claude Bertrand's Abidjan to Nice rally. The inaugural event went off with much schoolboy spirit, as we see with Philippe Jambert, with his Camargue style boots, his BMW R65 road bike, looking like he's out for a Sunday stroll with his rucksack. In 1979, it was the adventure that mattered most, and there was just one overall classification. Il y a trois motos dans les cinq premiers à l'arrivée de l'étape d'Assamaka. Le nom des titulaires changera, mais jusqu'à Dakar, ce sera désormais une deux roues qui aura le commandement de la course. À Samaka, on est vraiment rentré dans la course et on peut faire un premier bilan. The competitors crossed the Algerian border. They now leave Niger at Arlitz, and the difficulties have already claimed a good part of the convoy. Au départ d'Arlitz, il ne reste que 124 concurrents. 35 ont déjà dû abandonner. Aujourd'hui, sur les 10 premiers, il y a 5 motos et 5 voitures. C'est Patrick Charles sur une 500 XT, une moto de tout terrain qui est en fait. From this year, one terrible stage between Arlit and Agadez would not soon be forgotten. 230 kilometers in which more than a quarter of the field got lost. Already, the Dakar began to create its own legend. The majority of the vehicles were hardly prepared to take on the harsh conditions of the route. There were many slightly modified everyday cars and one extraordinary machine, the Renault KZ2CV. The same model Commandant Etienne drove from Oran to Cape Town back in 1927. Between Arlit and Agadez, motorcycles took the top 12 positions on the stage. Patrick Shah led, Philippe Jambert continued his adventure with Compass and Mac. GPS is still many, many years away. It wouldn't be a part of the Dakar proper until 1992. Twelve assistance trucks were also part of the event, the best known being the six-wheel drive Pinsgauer of Beau, Dunac and Chappelle. For the competitors and followers, the magic then took over. At each checkpoint, there was the serious impression that they were closer to the end of the world than they had been at the preceding checkpoint. At Gao, Patrick Shah led Cyril Nouveau. 
When the time came to board the ferry to cross the Niger, Fenui, who had the most powerful bike in the field, was lying third. Patrick Shaw retired after a crash between Gao and Bamako. At each start, the competitors wondered exactly what lay in store for them that day. Cyril Naveau led the overall standings, ahead of Fenui and Hubert Oriol, three men that would create much of the rally's history for more than 20 years. The three premiers au classement général, donc Fenui, partent ensemble, et maintenant, et cela presque jusqu'à la fin de la course, Fenui fera la route, neveu, ne quittant guère son sillage. Et j'arrive pas, il faut que je démonte le, va que je démonte le pot et tout. L'étape était dure aujourd'hui. Ah, c'est l'enfer cette piste, hein. C'est vraiment une piste pour détruire le, le, les hommes, le matériel. Philippe Chambert didn't arrive at Dakar and retired on the road to Motti. In 1979, the medical cars also carried race numbers. Thierry Sabine wasn't afraid to take a few liberties. Therefore, when Philippe Vassar was the only competitor to make it through the fesh fesh between Bamako and Nioro and cross the finish line in the allotted time, Sabine extended the arrival time to avoid having just the one competitor arrive in Dakar, which in his mind would have damaged the event's credibility right from the start. Without this rule change, Vassar would have been the first winner. By default, the scenario of the race remained unchanged. À Kay, nous sommes maintenant au Sénégal. Fenouil sur sa BMW est troisième du classement général. Les motos doivent faire des prodiges d'équilibre. La course de tout terrain, toute catégorie, tout véhicule Paris-Dakar, 18 jours, va se terminer. Deuxième position, nous sommes à 200 km de l'arrivée après 9500 km de course, encore 120 km et ce sera la plage. Fenui stopped along the side of the track and at the age of 22, Cyril Neveu won the first edition of the rally. He was still little known, but that would soon change. He won ahead of Gilles Comte and Philippe Vassard. The best finishing car was the Range Rover of Genestier, Terbio and Le Mordant in fourth. And the best finishing woman was Michelle de Cordanza, 19th overall. But the standings were of little importance, really. It was organizer Thierry Sabine's spirit that made the event what it was. Les concurrents de ce rallye Oasis Paris Dakar arrivent enfin au terme de cette épopée, au terme de cette grande aventure de 10 000 km. Ça y est, ils sont ici, juste au moment où Cyril le veut. Le vainqueur de ce Paris Dakar vient de monter sur le podium, mon cher Cyril, et puis vient de terminer en beauté avec, une, avec un beau soleil. Mais je suis vraiment content d'être là, c'est fantastique. And the beach at Dakar. The emblematic finish line of the rally would, thus itself, become the greatest reward. Hello. 1982, the Desert Foxes.